All right, guys, so I'm gonna be doing something a little bit differently. Usually I'm not in front of the camera. Um, usually the camera is on my fire helmet, um, but I have taken a break from the fire department. I just don't have the time commitment right now with running volunteer EMS, working full time, and going to school for my master's degree. Uh, so I've taken a break in that, so that's why you probably have not seen um, much of my helmet cam footage lately. But I kind of wanted to keep the channel going, and I've had a few suggestions from y'all stating you want to see some product reviews. Um, so I figured I'd start trying to do some product reviews for products that are kind of related to the first responder, uh, kind of outdoors and, and guns um, industry, just that kind of like that genre um, of products. And so the first one that I'm going to be reviewing for you is the Leatherback Gear Tactical One Bulletproof Backpack. This backpack is a very practical, everyday backpack, um, but in a split second can turn into a bulletproof vest that can save your life. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right on into it. All right, so to start out with this backpack, uh, we're gonna take a look at this first front compartment here. Um, it's just your general open compartment, um, but it's got tons of space in it. Um, right now, I've just got like a holster um, and a light in here, but you can fit all kinds of stuff. It's a real deep, wide pocket, um, so you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Um, another thing I like about this pocket is all the little like pin storage. Uh, I've got a place for knives up here. Um, you got little sealed pockets here, and then you have this large zip open pocket um, where you can keep papers or um, whatever in here that you can zip up and kind of keep hidden. Um, and then on the on the other side of this is a mesh zip pocket. Um, so I usually keep like a multi-tool and just a couple of random things in here that I don't want floating around, um, messing anything up, scratching stuff up. So I usually zip those in this mesh pocket. Um, but again, this mesh pocket can hold a ton of stuff. Um, I don't think I'll ever fill this space up. Just, I mean, you can fit all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so that's kind of the first pocket of this backpack. Very practical, um, has lots of options. All right, um, so on the front of this backpack, as you can see, um, it's got the Molly straps, um, which are super versatile. You can, you can, there's all kinds of mounts that you can um, put on these from uh, magazine holders to what I have on here, which is um, a holster mount. Um, I'll do a product review for this at a later time. Um, basically, my holster will clip on the front of here um, in case I ever have to put this on as a bulletproof vest. I've got my... Um, my weapon right here and uh, so you can put virtually anything on here I kind of like to keep it a clean slate um, but for people who like to have their magazine holders and everything on the outside um, the front of this backpack is great for that all right so moving up the backpack here um, we have a large velcro area um, right now I only have one morale patch on there but I think it can fit up to four. Um, so it's a pretty large area, so you can fit you know, up to four morale patches on there. Uh, just looks really cool. Um, I just have the one on here for right now, but I'll probably be adding to that at a later time. Um, and this Velcro patch is on the outside of a, um, basically it's a sunglasses compartment. It's a smaller compartment. Um, it has a little bit of padding to kind of protect your sunglasses if you drop your backpack, set it down, um, anything like that. Um, I usually just keep some, some ears in here, and I don't normally wear sunglasses, but I usually have a pair of shooting glasses in here. Um, you never know when those will come in handy. It's got um, an envelope style pouch on the front side of it, and then on the back side, it's got two separated um, pockets right here um, that you can fit all kinds of stuff in. So it's just kind of like nice little handy pocket that's right on the outside, it's easy to access. Um, you can put phone chargers, things of that nature inside of that pocket. Moving up the backpack again to the second largest pocket on this backpack. Um, this is just basically a general use pocket. Um, it's got a big open section. Um, it only zips down halfway, so it's kind of hard to see how much space is in here. Um, but this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the backpack, so um, a pretty large, pretty large area. Um, inside of it, you have like a non-padded laptop sleeve, um, so you could slide a laptop in here, or you have um, the padded laptop sleeve here, um, which just offers good protection uh, for your laptop if you were to drop your backpack or anything like that. Um, and this large open space in here is great for chargers, uh, computer mouses, anything like that. Um, so this, this pocket is, I think, a great pocket for a backpack just because you have protection on both sides. Um, for your laptop in case you set it down wrong or something like that. Um, it's protected on both sides. Um, so this, this pocket I say is probably the best one to store a laptop or um, something valuable inside. 
All right, um, now moving on to the largest pocket in this backpack. Um, this pocket is probably the most practical. It's got the most storage space in it. Um, as you can see, very large pocket. Um, it also has a laptop sleeve. Um, this one is also padded. I personally don't like to keep my laptop in this just because it's right up against the back so it's super flimsy. Um, and if you set your backpack down wrong, the corner of your laptop can hit and uh, crack your sc screen um, or something like that. So I think it's a great place for it, but uh, it's probably not the safest spot in your backpack if you're trying to keep your laptop uh, protected from falls and such. Um, but this is just a good padded space for anything, documents, manila folders. Um, stuff like that um, and then you have you have a mesh zip pocket here um, which I think is very practical uh, I usually keep like some pens pencils stuff like that um, then you have another completely enclosed um, zip pocket as well um, so just a lot of different pockets that's what I really like about this backpack it's not just an open space you can store all kinds of stuff um, so that's what I think makes this backpack very practical um, is that you can just keep anything in there. Um, it's not specifically designed for anything. It's a very good general purpose backpack. Um, so that's, that's one of the main things I like about it is just the large storage capacity. All right, well, now we will move on to the portion of the backpack that I am sure all of you are here to see, which is the bulletproof part of this backpack. As you can see here, um, there's a little red tab and behind that red tab is a red zipper. Um, this backpack is a break in half style um, backpack. So by unzipping this zipper, unzip it all the way around. It's kind of hard to do it from this angle. You unzip it all the way and it turns into your bulletproof vest. Um, you have level 3A soft armor in the front and in the back, um, which gives you protection for both sides, which is something that most bulletproof backpacks don't offer. Um, usually it's just a slot where you can put a um, an armor plate, um, but this backpack comes with the armor and it is on both sides and it turns into a very practical bulletproof backpack. Um, I will put that on for y'all guys and just kind of show you what it looks like um, on a person, um, but it's very comfortable and you can sit it down to uh, fit you um, and how you would like to wear it. All right guys, so this is the backpack on um, from the front view. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I have this holster mount on here. Um, that way, if I ever do find myself in a shooting situation, um, I can quickly reholster my weapon right here, and um, it's right there, easy access. Um, don't have to dig for it in the pockets or anything. So I'll be doing a product review on this later. Um, but here's the side view of this backpack. Um, you don't have protection on the sides, but I think that the protection that offers in the front and back is um, definitely worth the money for this backpack. I'll show you the back side. Um, the, the armor plates are on your body side, so right here there's a zip pocket. The armor plate is in here, and same with the back, it's right on my back side. Um, so they're right up against your body. And uh, Leatherback Gear has videos um, of them shooting this backpack, so you can kind of see um, how the backpack reacts to different ammos um, and how it can protect you in a potential shooting situation. Finally, we'll take a look at kind of the back side of the backpack that goes against your back when you're wearing it. Um, very padded um, mesh on the back. It keeps it cool so your back isn't sweaty, um, but it's also padded. Um, it's real comfortable to wear, honestly. Um, and the way the shoulder straps are connected to the backpack, um, it provides great support so it's not killing your neck or killing your back. Um, so it's real comfortable to wear and the shoulder straps are padded so it's not digging into your shoulders all the time. Um, so I, I like wearing this backpack almost every day at school. Um, even when I've got all my school books in here, um, I really don't feel like I'm carrying like 25 pounds worth of school books. Um, it just doesn't bother me. Um, so that's, that's one of the things that's really good about this backpack. It's just very comfortable to wear around on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one of the coolest parts about this backpack that I don't think many people know about is the fact that these straps turn into tourniquets. So if you just simply unbuckle these straps and buckle them back together, it turns into a tourniquet. Um, so it's wide enough that you can fit it on the average person's leg. Um, you can fit it up someone's arm and then you just cinch it down uh, to however tight you need. Um, and you have two removable tourniquets that you can take into any situation that you wear in this backpack. 
Um, and I just think that's a very practical thing. I think it's very smart of Leatherback Gear to put these on a bulletproof backpack because if you find yourself um, using this as a bulletproof vest, more than likely there is going to be people shot. So um, it's always good to have a tourniquet. Um, and these are, you know, you don't have to pay for them extra. They're already integrated onto your backpack. Um, and it's something that could potentially save your life or somebody else's life. With shootings happening more and more often, I think it's not only practical, but I think it's necessary to have a bag like this that you carry with you every day, whether that's to work, to school, to, to go shopping, just to have in your car. Um, you never know where you're going to be and where something might happen. And having just a practical everyday bag to carry with you uh, inconspicuously, I think is uh, vital to someone's survival in a shooting type of situation like we have seen at Walmarts and uh, churches and schools lately. So I think having uh, the Leatherback gear, Tactical One backpack is essential for the everyday person, especially if you conceal carry uh, where you might find yourself uh, needing to potentially engage a suspect. Uh, I think this backpack is um, practical but also necessary in order to save your lives and potentially the lives of others around you. Alright guys, well that is the end of my review of the Leatherback Gear Tactical One Bulletproof Backpack. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're looking to buy a Bulletproof Backpack or specifically looking at the Leatherback Gear Tactical One, um, I hope you, you were able to see this video and kind of see if you wanted to buy this backpack, if you're looking at other options. Um, if you are interested in this backpack, I have a link down below to the Leatherback Gear website. I'm in no way affiliated with them, but um, I think this is a great backpack that everybody should have. So I left the link down below. It makes it a little bit easier for you as opposed to having to search the internet for it. Um, and if you have any other questions or um, want to see anything else about this backpack, feel free to leave that in the comments or send me an email. I'll leave my email down below as well. Um, and again, if there's anything for these videos that you want me to do differently or um, any products you want to see reviewed, please let me know. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to doing the next one.